Hi. Using a metal club hammer with a fro is not a great idea. It tends to damage the uh, top of the fro and it's not really that effective to be honest. So when it came to making some legs for my current project, I decided I needed to make a wooden maul. And here's how I did it. This must be one of the simplest tool builds I've ever done. I just took a nice piece of firewood, it's hardwood. Uh, the neighbour cut it on his own property, but I'm not quite sure what it was. Uh, I took a force and a bit, same size as a large dowel that I had, and drilled right through. And you'll see there was a branch came out the other side of this that had been cut off when it was young and uh, made for an excellent uh, place to, to finish off with a wedge. You'll see that a little bit later. So I drilled that hole all the way through. I had to swap over to a, a spade bit eventually. And then I was able to drive in the large dowel, having previously cut for a wedge in the end of it. So once that was through, and you can see where the, the branch had originally been, put in a hardwood wedge and drove that home. And that dowel is not coming out anytime soon. This is the same piece of apple that I was splitting with the club hammer at the beginning and it's much easier with this maul. What's more, I won't be making any unsightly and sharp burrs on the top of the tool. So if you use a fro often, or if you use a fro at all to be honest, make yourself a maul. It's dead easy and it works really well. I'd like to say a big thank you to Dennis whose donation this week made this extra video possible. Thanks Dennis. I'm going to be turning these pieces into legs for my child's country chair, which is a video you hopefully will be seeing at Christmas time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. And leave captions for this photo in the comments. You never know what you might win.